Well, here's another one. I figured since I was showing you the holster, I'd show this one too. And uh, like I said in the last video, criticism is a good way to improve. So feel free, let me know what you see and what I can work on. And if you have any tips, if any of you guys are leather masters out there. But uh, I made this scabbard, rifle scabbard. My dad bought me the leather, which was super kind of him. Leather's not the cheapest thing, but you can get big sheets of it that uh, are not as expensive as I thought at first. So anyway, good little investment gets you a long ways because you buy one sheet of leather, it'll last for a lot of projects. But anyway, so here is a scabbard. I currently have my Henry single shot 44 in there. And just made a very simple scabbard this will actually fit the henry x as well that i have so one size fits two <laughs> but there we go i added a couple little straps there i don't know if i'll use them i kind of was intending to make one that could sling over my shoulder because there's you can see some of those around for sale like on etsy and other places I don't know how practical that is. I think if you're going to have it over your shoulder, maybe you should just have a nice sling to put on the rifle. But anyway, there's that guy. I'll try and show you up some of the closer up details. I put some of these buckles in. I still need to do a little bit of finish work. Got to figure out how I want to finish the end of that strap. If I want to round it off or leave it square, square it up better. But then I need to dye it. And I also need to put some dye into these holes that I stamped for the, the buckle. So, but I'm getting a little bit better at burnishing. Got a good edge down here. I need to try up here a little bit better. Get that set. But then I need to figure out a good conditioning oil for this. The leather gets pretty dry after you put the stain on it. And that's one thing I need to figure out how to improve so the leather doesn't crack when you bend it. So, either some, uh, some kind of an oil or a conditioner. I do have an old container of boot oil or it's a snow proof for a boot like a, a winter proof for boots so i might have to try some of that on a test piece and see how it works but yeah there's that here's the other end of it i decided to kind of just go all the way around with that same that stitching all the way to the end there it does have a hole in the end so i got to figure out how either to plug that in the future or what to do there but yeah i went with a dark thread and I think it looks pretty good. don't have the light thread that contrasts on this one, which can look good too, but on this one went with the brown. So anyway, it's all matching. There's that one. So thought I'd show it to you guys real fast. And there it is.